Welcome to the Capado Architect Corner. Today we're going over Salesforce environments from simple to complex. Welcome to the Capado Architect Corner. We're going to be diving into topics from an architect's perspective. Today we're going to be starting a foundation looking at Salesforce environments. And they can start from very simple, from just a simple Salesforce core org with internal users. And as you start to layer additional capabilities, they can get more and more complex. And each of those items added to complexity can affect your deployments and your whole DevOps pipeline. So first, we're gonna create a baseline. We're gonna start with simple, and we're gonna work our way up in level of complexity to what kinds of components you will see or may see in your Salesforce environments. So let's start with the most basic possible environment you might have. You might have a Salesforce core org, which is an org that could have sales cloud, service cloud, basic core font, or even you know um, logic custom applications developed. And you may it may be composed of nothing but your Salesforce core org, and a set of internal users. These do exist, but they aren't as frequent as some of the more complex ones. So this is the baseline complexity for Salesforce, internal users hitting a core org. Now I've added digital experiences, and I've even incremented this to include partner users using a partner experience, customer users, using a customer experience. Now, the levels of complexity are now rising. You have two digital experiences, which may have their own look and feel um, and URLs. You might have some custom page work for each. And now you have additional profiles and permission sets for the partner users and the customers. So right now we have upped the ante in complexity by adding these two digital experiences to our environment. Now I've added identity processing, IDP. What we may have from here is we may have a corporate identity provider, Ping, Okta, one login, and that will allow us to authenticate the internal users. Down here, I've added LinkedIn, could be LinkedIn, could be Google, could be Facebook, and this is what's called social sign-on. Now, these allow us, with the corporate IDP, allow us to authenticate the internal users, and this social sign-on allows us to expand and allow our digital community um, to allow Facebook or LinkedIn logins. But we now need to take into consideration the complexities of adjusting the profiles, the permissions, and the routing. And now we need to be thinking about with these IDP users, you know, do we have internal admins that aren't on the IDP? And how are we going to configure that IDP? Now I'm adding ISVs, third-party applications. Um, we may have DocGen for do generating documentation, digital signatures, or an entire wide range of additional applications that could be included in our environment. We now need to be thinking about these managed packages, how they might be deployed and configured. And then we need to administer the, you know, those configurations to the proper user permission sets and get them into the workflow. So this could be two of them, or this could be many more managed packages that could be included in our environment. Now I've added additional client level functionality. We may have anonymous web pages giving us web to lead, which will then allow us to create leads straight off the web page. We may have web to case, where we're able to automatically create cases, and we may have email to case. Now opening these up, and adding this functionality enables a lot more capabilities, but we need to be thinking about with the web to lead and web to case, are we gonna have good CAPTCHAs? Are we gonna need to worry about, you know, getting denial of service attacks where people can flood in junk leads, junk cases? 
when you get to email the case, we need to start mapping out the email configurations. What are our reply to email addresses? What are our global emails? We need to be thinking of those configurations. And now we haven't even brought into the new one now, which we are integrations. We would have integrations with potential accounting systems. We could have integrations with ERPs. We could have integrations with order management systems. We may have middlewares. I threw a blank box and just threw the MuleSoft logo. This could be MuleSoft uh, middleware. It could be other middlewares that could be out there. Um, so there are a number of other middlewares, Informatica, Jitterbit, and a whole number of other ones that could be in there offering middleware capabilities. Now, once we put that into the mix, now we need to be thinking about configurations. How will Salesforce call out to the middleware? How will the middleware call back? And what are the configurations configuring to the accounting, the ERP, the OMS? And we need to be thinking about how we might have to pair data. Um, even in non-prod environments, we might have to have foreign external IDs, let's say with our um, accounting system, our ERP, and think about master data management. So the moment we bring in these other systems, we have connection strings, additional integration user profiles. We need to be thinking about data seeding across the different environments. So this now is probably a more realistic environment for what I've seen across a number of enterprises. This still is simple in the sense that it has a single prod org, but it does have the digital experiences, it has a so the social sign-on, web to lead, web to case. And I've even seen additional environments with things like integrated voice response. And although we're running these three integrations through a middleware, there still may be situations where you have point-to-point -point integrations with your Salesforce. So this is probably a more typical enterprise level complexity. And what we're gonna do in, addition, in future talks is we'll talk about how this might be configured in different environments and how we might manage this through a Capato release pipeline. So we're gonna be diving in to kind of how we can configure this, how we can deploy this and manage this in our DevOps pipeline. But we're gonna use this as kind of a foundation example, different levels of complexity and how what you might be facing at your particular clients. Thank you for joining Capato, handling incremental complexity. May the force be with your deployments and make sure you subscribe to the Capato channel on YouTube. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.